Good evening, Vanessa. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. At home or driving? I'm driving, teacher. I am driving. You are going home? Yes, ah, okay. I am. You are going home? Naum Hernandez. Jennifer Noemi Mata. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Janira. Good evening, Janira. Joanna. Good evening, Joanna. Teacher, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Joanna, you know that you are the winner of the lottery, Joanna? Sí, hoy me toca a mí. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay. Ay, emocionada. Yes, that's why. So, Claribel, welcome, Claribel. Okay, Jennifer, Teacher. please hear us. What about Good evening. Like, good evening. How are you, Teacher? I'm fine. What about you? Sad t-shirt. Why? I ha I had an accident with the Clarimobil. With that? Clarimobil. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, Clarimobil. You have a crash. Lady a una camioneta t-shirt. Oh my god. But what about the insurance? Do you have insurance? No. Come? Do you have insurance? Insurance. Uh -huh. Aseguranza. Sí, pero fíjese que creo que me sale más barato con el mecánico o con el mío. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. sí. Okay. So, but also they uh, they have to pay. I mean, uh, I mean, you can do the business with the mechanic with the mechanic, but uh -huh. also I mean they have to do the budget. The, the insurance has to do has to do the budget and everything. And after you mm -hmm. can claim the money, I mean, they have like the ajustador. I have had like three, like three crashes. I have chocado tres veces. ¿Qué? Y sabe que yo, <laughs> es mi primera vez en no. 12 años, se lo juro. No, my God, no, no, no. You need experience, Claribel. That's the first one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> duele t-shirt. Yes, I know. Me dolió uh -huh. más a, a, it was hurt. Me dolió más a mí cuando choqué y no tenía aseguranza. <laughs> Ese oh. día a asegurarlo iba. Ay, no. Dios mío. Yeah. Está bien. Okay. But so sorry, Claribel. So sorry for the Claribel. Thank you, Tish. Thank you, Tish. Okay. Sí. <laughs> Carlos, welcome. Carlos Melgar. Je José Palacios, welcome. Amilcar, welcome. Silvana, welcome. Welcome everybody to the class number 15. Remember that today you have to finish your exercise number 15. And as always, it's time to go to the attendance, okay? Okay. Attendance. Go for the attendance, guys. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, wow. I made a mistake. That's it. Okay. Okay, Mr. Amilcar Cañengue Aceituno. Present teacher. Very well. Angela Alejandra Rodriguez Ostorga. Hello. Carlos Ademir Bolaños Mendoza. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Bailey Lisette. Asensio de Sarmiento. Mm. 
Francisca Yanira Arevalo Rodríguez. Present teacher. Jennifer Noemí Mata Aragón. Present. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Sena Un Palacio Enríquez. Present. Margot Hernández Salinas. María Emelina Iraeta Salinas. Naum Hernández Asensio. Present teacher. Good. Nuria Elizabeth Nerio Vargas. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Joana Alvarado Gaitán. Present teacher. Very good. Silvana Beatriz Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Vanessa Odette Guardado Enríquez. Present teacher. Very good. Nancy Guadalupe Erazo García. Soy la Claribel Rosales Bernal. Present teacher. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. Y Hugo Alexander Castro. Okay. Okay, guys. Welcome to our session number 15. This is our session number 15. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Hugo Alexander Castro. Present. Very good. Okay. Remember that we are on our session number 15. It means that you have to finish uh, the exercise number 15. The winner of the lottery is Ruth Joana Alvarado. I was talking to her. She's going to stay and even if she is sleeping. I think so that she is going to stay with me. Yes, today, sorry. Okay, for today, we have the practice about the unit. Okay. And remember the main topic that we have seen uh, about uh, during this unit uh, is like, uh, well, it has been uh, the should. Could and would you mind? They are. They have. They they have been the, the topic, and also the voca the vocabulary of the book that we have studied. Okay, that is like uh, etiquette, like uh, polite, and this kind of stuff <clears throat> that we have been studying today. As I told you yesterday, uh, that you can do your exercise number fifteen because today is just practice. Okay. Let's gonna start. Uh, remember about the, the things that you should do or you shouldn't do. I mean, there, remember that there are things that you shouldn't do at work. Okay. Okay, we are online. I forgot. We are the champions. You are the loser. We are the champions. My friend, that's it. Oh my God. That's it. Oh my God. That's it. Okay. Let's gonna watch what we have for today. Let me see. Share the screen. Okay. This is today is today is Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. Okay. And the class of today is unit three, Buck practice, okay? And remember that one of the things that we have been studying is should. And also, you should be punctual at these classes. By example, it will be a good thing, but also remember that it has to be related to the work. You should, you should be punctual at work. You should be respectful. You should give new ideas. You should do your work. You should use your PPE. We have said that. We shouldn't smoke or you shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't be messy. You shouldn't use your mobile phone and you shouldn't do riot, okay? These are the things that maybe uh, you don't have to do. A thing that you, you shouldn't do at work as soon as possible, Una cosa que no debe de hacer en su trabajo, recuérdela. Carlos Melgar. Use the cell phone. But the told the... Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Ah. Shouldn't the, the phone 
uh, but the talk the client. Okay. Now, Hernandez. I mean, no, maybe it's BC. No, yeah. Okay. Maritza. One thing you should or shouldn't do, you should do or you shouldn't do at work. Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening. I, I should, shouldn't uh -huh. chatting. Chatting of the phone in my chat bed. on the phone. Okay, you shouldn't. Okay, uh, very personal. good. Chat, chat, personal. personal chat. Personal chat. Okay, very good. Amilcar. Okay, okay teacher. In my in my world, I I shouldn't to use the equipment. For me, or about me, about me. Okay. For example, I shouldn't, I shouldn't what again? Sorry. Memory USB, USB. Uh, USB, USB memory. Okay, USB. Maybe Don't USB. use. Uh huh. Don't use or what? You shouldn't use or what? Or shouldn't shouldn't use. I Wait. shouldn't use. Ah, okay. I got it. You should. I shouldn't use memory USB device in my work because maybe you can copy any. I mean, information. any information. Yeah, any information that is very uh, confidential. Maybe confidential information. That's it. Okay. Silvana. Hola. Hi, teacher. Hola. Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I shouldn't sleep in the office. You shouldn't sleep over your desk. <laughs> yes. In Japanese yes, people, teacher. they consider that it's good if you sleep at work. They consider Hola. that it's good. Hola. Hello, Hola. darling. Hola. So, hi. <laughs> okay. Mm, Jennifer, can you speak or do I skip? Ah, okay, the next, I will skip. La voy a saltar entonces. Porque está comiendo. No, 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 teacher. I shouldn't wear jeans. Ah, you shouldn't wear jeans. Okay, you shouldn't wear jeans. Okay, at work. Very good. Nuria? I should not eat uh, during um, office hours. Ah, uh, during office hours. Very good. Claribel Rosales? Teacher, I shouldn't be serious in my work. I oh, smile. You have to be with a big smile. Yeah. In, in my work, I smile is important. Important. Uh, important, okay. <laughs> smiling is important. It's okay. Smiling. Uh -huh. Yes. Smiling yes. is important. Okay, very good. They Thank really you. said Asensio. Present teacher, fíjese que acabo de entrar, no he escuchado nada. Ah, ok, no, don't worry. Solo estamos diciendo que no puede, okay, recordando, esta es una eh, de práctica. What you should do or what shouldn't do at work. ¿Qué debe de hacer o qué no debe de hacer en su trabajo? No, it's lost. Ok, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Yeah, participate, teacher. Ah, okay, thank you. So, sorry. Hugo Alexander Castro. Present, I shouldn't use cap. You shouldn't use what? Cap. Use cap. Cap. Ah, okay. You shouldn't use, you, you, should, you shouldn't wear in this case, you shouldn't wear cap. No debo usar cap. Okay, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Joanna? Teacher, uh, I should clean the office every day. Okay. I shouldn't talk on the cell phone during work hours. During work hours. Very good. Hours. Okay. Very good. 
Vanessa, can you participate, Vanessa? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, don't, don't not speak yelling. Uh, I shouldn't or shouldn't speak yelling, okay? Okay, got it. Okay, Mr. Palacios. Hello, teacher. I shouldn't get angry with the others. What? I shouldn't get angry with the others. Ah, okay. You should you should be happy. You are with the Claribel Rosales. Always, if she is angry, she has to be with a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, Ale Ostorga. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alejandra. Uh, I shouldn't use makeup. Uh, you shouldn't use makeup. Okay, very well. Just on the picture. No, at work. <laughs> very good. Okay, guys, this is I remember as I, as I was telling you about the topics that we started uh, during this week. Okay. <clears throat> remember uh, another vocabulary that we have for communication okay let me check on my chair screen ah what is that no this is no no this is no let me see this is i'm gonna stop the chair uh-huh is here ah you know why is it here so sorry but sometimes it's oh, it's here I uh, have to share my screen. Okay, share my screen. This is, uh, this is. Okay. Remember the vocabulary that we have here. That is this one. Okay, etiquette, guidelines, polite, manner, regards, punctual, latecomer. Ah, uh, this is latecomer. Are you a latecomer? I hope so, no. Behavior, salutation, and subject, okay? What are you going to do? You are going to be divided in group, okay? And you are gonna find the all this word in this crossword, okay? Communication and etiquette, okay? You are gonna be divided, this is in page 37. You are gonna be divided in group and you are gonna look for the words, okay? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. At least teacher. Say yes or thumb up. Okay. That's it. We're gonna go. Here we go. Some of you are busy, like Janira and Margot. Please, if they are in the in, in the breakout room, please uh, take into account with them. Okay. Okay. Fish is very three, thirty four, I think so. Dada la opción de, de 
para dibujar en la, aquí. No, oh, sí, perdón. Vamos a ver si fue. Es ahí. Van a disculpar la perfección de ese. <risa> Polite. Polite. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Polite. I'm here. Polite. <laughs> polite. Yeah, polite. Polite. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Entonces, polite. Yeah, ver, yes, polite. Okay, How, can okay. I go out? How can I go out? Me salió peor a mí. <laughs> Super panda. It's <laughs> like it's lying. Uh, it's lying. Okay. Yes. Ya lo encontraron. Etiquet. Sí, Ajá, no, 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 ese no. Eric. 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 No, esa no. Está de, eh, derecha. Right to speak in English. <laughs> derecha, izquierda. Eh, de, right you, or left. Right, right, right or left. left. Right. Yes. Right, right, left, left, right, left, right, follow the leader, leader, follow the leader, that's it. <laughs> right is izquierda o derecha? Right is derecha, left is izquierda. Okay. Thanks, right. teacher. You're right. welcome. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. I know that's teacher, not. Hi. How do you say fila? Uh, line. Line, okay. Right line three. Excellent. Right line three. Is... Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. No, no mm, yet. No yet. No. Okay. No. <laughs> Etiquette. 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 Uh huh. Um. Yancy, welcome, Yancy. Hello, good night. Good night. Laycomer. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why, the behavior uh, in the, yeah. in the six, one, two, three. Punctual. Four. Está en la segunda fila de la izquierda a la derecha, de abajo para arriba. Yeah. The second line, so from uh, up to down, <laughs> in the left uh -huh. to right, up, down, left, right. That is, I mean, column and in, in line, okay? Columna okay. y fila, column and line. Okay. The manager, the manners, it's... Uh-huh. Two, three, four, five, six. In the sex column. Six? Uh, oh my God, a six maybe. <laughs> sex no, please. Six. <laughs> okay, please, sex no. I'm here. That is teacher. I mean, you say sex, I'm just correcting you. It's six, six. Uh, or sex. That's I why can I'm see just the money. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm in helping six, you. 
He yeah, has it, that, okay, it, in six lines and maybe or in six columns. Because in when you say sex, columns. I was scaring. <laughs> okay. Regar está, is in the... Si le gusta jugar eso. Okay. Fine, fine. Mm -hmm. Subject is only okay. I in the first in the first line. Yes, in the first line. I up. don't I don't find the page. That is thirty nine, I think. So thirty seven. It's yes. here, no? Thirty seven. Yes. Uh, Polit está en la última. De Polite. It's in the last Polite. one. <laughs> Perdón. Y tienen que hablar inglés when you say left, right, okay? Sorry. Right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Or you say up, down, up, down, up, down. Or you say line and column. <laughs> yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Antiles, regard. 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 Etiquette. 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 No, etiquette. No, etiquette. Etiquette. Number three is a powerful first. Uh, I mean, okay. Let me see. For down etiquette. is line. No, sorry. It's column. Okay. Hacia abajo is column. Column. Le dicen o vertical es column, horizontal es line. Ok. Line. Line. Column. Ah, okay. column. Ah, y luego, a ver, left. ¿qué parece, Hugo? Y luego, up, left. down, left, right, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Ok. okay. Left es izquierda, left right es derecha, izquierda. up es arriba, down es abajo. You say up, down, something like that. Up. Exactly, okay. Jennifer. <laughs> and after you say left, right, left, right, follow the leader, leader, follow the leader. Go, yeah. S, <laughs> go, S, uh, line, first, first line, finish, third. first line, third. 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 I don't know, third, third S, or six. Uh, last, la última S. Last S. Exactly. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, Down. E, down, etiquette. Excellent, eh, Mr. Castro. Etiquette. Repeat yeah. de, de izquierda a derecha. <laughs> Pareciera piñeta I mean, teacher esto. Arriba, yeah. arriba. Yes. <laughs> Jennifer, but you have to think. Left. <laughs> Izquierda, left. right, derecha, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. <laughs> <laughs> left, izquierda, right, left derecha, izquierda. right, you derecha. Have to, okay. You have to start to move your tip, okay, or your hip, sorry, <laughs> your hip, you say, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. That's, a, that's the way you learn. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the way that I teach. Créanme que es la manera en que le enseño. Pónganse, your hands over your, your hands over your hips. Su mano sobre sus caderas y empiezan. Izquierda, derecha. Left, right, right, left. Okay, that's the way. That's a funny way to learn. A P of polite. Salutation. Eh, late, late no, comer. Estoy, estoy interrumpiendo a Mr. Hugo Castro, que está bien emocionado encontrándolas todas. I'm ya las encontró todas. Sí, I, I'm, I'm seeing. Salutation. Validation. Very good. Like manners, figures, punctual. Regards. Regards. Punctual. 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 Yeah. Behavior. Which one? Which one? ¿Cuál? No, which, which one? Guideline of what? Aha, guideline. Guidelines. 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 
Y a salu oh, salutation. A salutation. Yeah, salutation. Y subject. Subject. Teacher, y puede pronunciarlas todas. Ok. Es que no estuve. Por favor. E etiquette. Guidelines. Polite. Manners. Regards. Punctual. Latecomer. Behavior. Salutation and subject. Behavior. 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 Oh, behavior. 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 Guide, guidelines. Guidelines, yeah. Guidelines. Yeah. Like manners, recalls, Behavior. What's the meaning of behavior? Behavior. Behavior is the way that you behavior. conduct doing something. Para decirlo es conducta. Oh. Behave. Yeah. Behave. Eso es lo que uno le dice a los chicos, compórtese, behave. O lo mismo le puede decir a usted a alguien, behave, compórtese. Behave. behave. Oh. Yeah. Etiquette. 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 Manager. De, después de manager, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Which manager? Manners. Manners. La siguiente. Regards. 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 Yeah, regards. Regards. Yeah. Regards. Y latecomer. Así. Latecomer. Yeah. Salutation. 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 Subject. Recording in progress. What are you doing, Claribel? This very medallit. Que lo estoy no You are hypnotizing. You are, uh -huh. you are hypnotizing your, 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 your classmates. <laughs> uh -huh. Para que me pase. <laughs> oh my God, Claribel. <laughs> Por eso me gusta la clase, porque aquí me divierto. <laughs> you have de... fun. Okay, <laughs> how, many words do you, how many words are missing for you? ¿Cuántas le faltan? Finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Entonces vamos pronunciándolas todas. Etiquette, guidelines, polite, manner, regards, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject. Okay. Etiquette. Etiquette, no, etiquette, no, porque es medicate. Es etiquette. Etiquette. Exacto, no es medicate. No es de makeup, no es el maquillaje, niñas. You etiquette. are thinking on Medicaid. No, it's etiquette. <laughs> etiquette. Yeah. Guidelines. Guidelines. Yeah. Guidelines. Polite. Polite. Yeah. Manners. Manners. Yeah. Regards. Regards. Punctual. Punctual. Yeah. Latecomer. Latecomer. And behavior. behavior. Yeah. Salutation. Subject. Salutation. Yeah. Subject. Okay, you can start then to write down the words and write sentence per each. You can you can uh, select or you can choose five words and choose at least one sentence per each. Okay. Okay. Is finish. Yes, teacher. Um, I stand on the Le voy a pasar al grupo número uno que lo hicieron bastante bonito. Regards, es como saludos. Regards, ah, ok. Es como saludos, pero ajá, es como... En Mainers, Maneras, no. Mainers. Manners, Manners. Manners, Manners, ya. Maneras, ya. Modo. Modo, ya. Ok. So only one, only one teacher, which is manners. 
Manners. Yes, ah, no, pero come ya on, lo come on, teacher. No, Manners, aquí don't está. Sell, don't sell us. Manners is here. Ya lo hallaron, Manners. No es Manners. Ah, ah, so ah yes. yes. Aquí, lo, aquí lo tienen, ve. Sí, Next. ya está, ya está marcada. Behavior. Ah. Lo que pasa es que no lo ha marcado. Ay, Dios, ahí está. Finish. So, then you can start to write down. Choose five words from this one and write one sentence. I mean, you can write down one sentence per each. Pueden escoger una palabra cada uno y escriban una oración y la comparten entre ustedes, ¿ok? Ok. We finished. Teacher. Excellent. Now you can go to the exercise that is down and you can choose five words. You can choose one for each and you can write down the sentences. I don't know if you can move. Uh, who is, sir? Who is Carlos Melgar? Is your screen? No? Yeah. Can you yes. move down? What? I don't understand, teacher. I mean, can you move down, Carlos, the page? Puede mover la página hacia abajo. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Then paint, pase hacia el libro. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, voy a regresar. Voy a compartir el libro, teacher. Okay. Yeah, aquí está. We have two five sentences with a yeah. uh, little salt. I mean, five words from the word. Okay, what can you do? I mean, no, not this one. Más arriba, por favor. Esta. Exercise two, choose five words from the sword search and write sentence for each. You can choose one word per each. Y pueden escribir solo una oración cada uno. Okay? Uh, okay. Whatever word, teacher. Okay. No, okay, de estas teacher. palabras, de estas palabras que están aquí, Silvana. De las oh. palabras que están, etiquette, guidelines, provide. De las palabras que están acá, de las 10 palabras, ya, yeah, 10 words. Oh, you got it? Any sentences. sentences. Yes, teacher. See, whatever sentence, whatever sentence. Okay, whatever sentence. Okay, teacher. Okay. No, me, no escuché. Solamente um, ese. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, um, Amy, what about, have you finished? Yes. yes. Finished. Okay, now you can go to the book again in the same page down after the book. You are going to find exercise number two in which you have to choose one word from the word search and you have to write down one sentence. You can write down one per each. As by example, Yancy says, oh, etiquette, as by example, ah, you have to practice etiquette at work. I mean, do you understand? Okay. You have to choose one <clears throat> word and you have to write down one word, uh, one sentence with one word that you have chosen, one per each, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. In, in, in English, please. Hey, hello, teacher. Hi, Mr. Elvira. Sorry for my no, late. No, don't worry. Okay. You are a late comer, but I know that you have your... <laughs> you <laughs> okay, have, I mean, you. the difficulties, don't worry. Okay? okay thank you so we much. We are, now, guys, we were working the words here, but now, go down, who is Maritza? Go down. Go down with the page. Vaya más abajo con la página, Maritza. Mm, es que lo que sucede es que no la copie completa. La voy a volver a, a, a copiar. Y, y tiene el libro. It's very sí, important te... to be put. I, I, I have a, a book. Um, ah, okay. But George, he doesn't book. Yeah, ah, okay. this, this moment I, I share, I share the, the, the book. Yeah, I find the page. Okay. Yes, Claribel Rosales, that's okay, the sentence. You choose yes, punctual. Ma yeah. Okay. It is okay. very important to be punctual in a job or meeting, yeah. Okay. Okay, yes, then you have to choose that word and you have to write down sentences, okay? That's it. Yes. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.
share your sentences written yes. to the chat with your classmates and also Thank orally. You. Okay. Okay, uh, teacher, my Hi. sentences is it is. I like to be a punctual, always arrive at work. I like to be punctual at work. Hasta ahí. Me gusta ser puntual en el trabajo. No, but this case, I like to. Oh, uh, that I sí, must. No, pues sí, pero I like to be punctual. Ok. Porque punctual es un noun. No es un verbo. Por eso es que tiene que ir el be. Me gusta ser. O si usted quiere, I like to arrive. Punctual. Me gusta llegar puntual a mi trabajo, que es diferente, ¿ok? Pero I like oh. to be, o sea, it has to be the verb, ¿ok? We should have a manual of etiquette for our life. Very good, Jose Palacios. Yeah. Pretty for me, you. we don't have. Ok, continue. That's the word. You have to share on chat and after you can share as Amilcar is doing orally, ¿ok? Okay. You finish? Uh, I think it's okay. Num number two, I have to punctual in the work. I have to be. I okay. have to be. Why? Okay. Because, porque es, yo tengo que ser o yo tengo que estar. Punctual <coughs> es, si usted lo quiere ver en español, es un sustantivo. Por lo cual no puedo decir I have punctual. Yo tengo que decir, yo tengo que ser. I have to be. Nice teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Compartan orally, share orally and written their sentences, okay? okay. Uh -huh. I should not forget yes. use etiquette in a meeting, maybe. In a meeting. In a meeting, oh, in a meeting. okay. Sí se pueden usar las dos, Carlos. Lo que pasa es que in a meeting es en una reunión cualquiera y en the meeting es la reunión que usted ya sabe. Ah, ok. Esa es la diferencia. Okay. La es cuando yo digo la, pero porque ya sé, por ejemplo, la reunión de mañana. Digamos ¿No? que mañana tiene reunión, usted dice in the meeting, en la reunión, porque ya sabe que es mañana. Pero si es sí. en cualquier reunión, usted dice in a meeting. In a meeting, ok. Exacto. En una. Exacto. En una que es cualquiera. Cuando digo la, es como decir, así como salía el anuncio aquel, el macho. O sea, porque es él, ya se sabe que es él, un es Jennifer. De verdad, Jennifer, I mean, este examen. El macho, man. <ríe> es que cuando dices, es como la gente antes decía, ese es el jefe, o sea, es oh, eh, el jefe, decían, pero cuando es él, no sé si han oído que remarca la gente como él. Cuando mm -hmm. remarca ese él, lo mismo es en este. You say, In the meeting es como en la reunión, ya sé cuál reunión, pero si digo en una reunión es cualquier reunión. In a meeting. Okay. That's why. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. You have to be behavior. Oh. You have to behave, o oh, si you es behavior, be that is the word. Behavior. behavior is the word. Yes, sir. Behavior. Ah, entonces. You have to show the best behavior because behavior is a noun. Behavior is un sustantivo. Okay. ¿Me entiende noun? Es un sustantivo. Entonces, cuando yo digo, you have to behave, es diferente. Te tienes que comportar. Pero es diferente yeah. si yo digo, you have to show a good behavior. Tienes que mostrar una tienes buena mostrar conducta. Un comportamiento. Exacto, okay. un buen comportamiento. That's why. Okay, I got it. Very good. Can you check uh, the first one that we, yes, we did? Yes, share, share in the chat, please. I okay, prefer to speak. Okay. You uh, know, <laughs> I prefer to speak. Yes, but also you have to write down, but also tell me. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you should be polite with everyone. Okay, yeah. Because in this case, you are using polite. You should be polite. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay. We should be punctual. Exactly. We should be punctual at work, maybe, or in a meeting. Everybody. No, to, to everyone. 
y uh -huh. ahí te selecciona a quién se lo quiere enviar o solamente a todos. Ah, entonces tengo que ir seleccionando uno por uno. Ni se le pone lo que pasa es que si está en un grupo dos. puede darle a todos ahorita porque solo le manda a todos los que están en la reunión. A todos ah. los que estamos ahorita ahí. Exacto, si usted le da ahorita a todos, le manda solo a todos los que están en la reunión. Porque todos ah, son ya, solo ya. Jorge, Claribel. Cuando ya estoy en la sesión grande, entonces si le doy a todos, entonces sí es para todos. Pero ahorita en los ah, grupos, okay. si le da a todos, es para todos sus compañeros. Ok, okay. thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Dígame. Eh, one, one question. Uh, this exercise uh, is create the sentence, right? Uh -huh. uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. One. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no. corona, coronavirus disease to 20, uh, 2020 and training guidelines. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there's a coronavirus 2020. Yes. Ajá. And dream, dream, I don't know, say dreaming. I, in the chat. Sure. Sure. No sé si se dice uh -huh. así. What's uh -huh. the word? Uh -huh. No sé si está bien escrito. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, treatment, yeah, uh -huh. tratamiento. Ajá. Uh -huh. Guidelines, guidelines. Uh -huh. Guidelines, treatment, yeah. Again, guys, we are going to go for the next exercise. Now, remember that we are working on exercises that we can find in our manual. Let me see, chair, oh my God. And now here we go for the, oh, let me see, oh my God. It's because I always change for this textbook. We go for exercise number three, okay? I'm gonna show you on the screen. Again, you are going to go to the groups. And what do you have to do? You have to read the statement in exercise three and four. No, well, first three. And after we are gonna go out on the attendance line and after four. And what do you have to do? In exercise three, you have to give answers, responses. Would you mind moving your car? ¿Te importaría mover tu carro? Eh, es que está bloqueando el mío. It's blocking mine. Okay. Entonces, ¿cuál respuesta puede dar? You, you could feel this purchase order. Eh, por ejemplo, yo, eh, tú podrías llenar esta orden de compra. Es que estoy, quizás es que estoy ocupado. Me tengo que irle permiso. Es que estoy enfermo. El jefe me dijo que te pidiera ayuda. I mean, do you understand what do you have to do? ¿Entienden qué vamos a hacer? Yes, sir. So, so, teacher. So, so, in the, mm -hmm. so, so to give to give the explication for the question. Yeah, I mean, try to give a response why he is asking the question. Okay, I, I, exactly. Give an explanation. As by example, in the first, would you mind moving your car? Why? Because it's blocking mine. Okay, that's why. Entonces, eso es I mean, dar como una respuesta explicación ah, okay. de por qué estoy pidiendo eso. Okay. Okay. okay, teacher. Okay. Y voy a explicar you, de un solo el cuatro. I'm going to explain number four. You mm -hmm. have to do, you have to select the most appropriate answer for the request below. Okay. Okay. You got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. You got it. Oh, this one. Lo voy a yes, poner teacher. en grupo, lo saco para eh, la attendance y luego los vuelvo a entrar, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. 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 You got it. You okay. are there, guys. Okay. 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 Mm. Try to speak just in English. I will mind moving your car. I yeah. Know. Would you mind moving your car? Because I can drive. Oh my God. Could you move in your car? Puedes mover tu carro. Uh -huh. Puedes mover tu carro. Why? 
con la pregunta, ¿por qué? Ah, por lo menos porque está bloqueando el mío. Uh, because is blocking the entrance, porque está bloqueando la entrada, por ejemplo. Okay. I don't know. So, do you understand? Hmm. Yes, teacher. The point is that you have to think a little bit what answer you have to give. I think so that is easy. Piece of cake. Yes. It's in the request below. Mm -hmm. In that case, the second one, if is it is a question, the cool has to be first. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I'm sorry. What? Cool. In, and two? in the second. And the you second one. You fulfill this purchase order, huh? But if you see, if you saw the the rubrics is identify, and correct three mistakes. That's mean that is a mistake in the second one. My, in my personal opinion, you know. Yeah, that's true. I for I I, I confuse with that. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. So sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sorry. That, I wanna in that case, go you have the to, other. Have yeah. To, so sorry. Oh, so sorry. You are right. So Other sorry, question, teacher. Nos pasamos. No, no, es que corríjanlas. Tienen que escribirlas corregidas. Eso es. Oh, could you. Uh -huh. could you feel? Exactly. Pardon, guys, he confundido el ejercicio. ¿Qué es lo que tienen que hacer con ejercicio? Corregir las, los tres errores que hay ahí. Yo me confundí. Estaba dando los, estaba leyendo. Tienes que corregir, identificar y corregir los tres errores que hay en las preguntas. Ah, ok. okay. So the sorry. first, That's why the I'm first exercise, teacher. Exacto, ejercicio number, number three. Would you mind, would you mind identify and correct three mistakes in the request below? O sea, siempre vamos a contestar las teacher. Solo no, que nos vamos solo a... tienen que corregirlas. Ah, Ver cuáles preguntas están mal hechas o cuáles oraciones están mal hechas y corregirlas. Por ejemplo, la 2 está mal hecha. ¿Por qué está mal hecha? Porque está utilizando la... Está utilizando el verbo en... No. no. Es el auxiliar de cool you. Exacto. Cool you. That's it. Cool you is the correct. Ya. Yeah. You have to correct the sentence. Sorry. Here, y corrijo, es fe de rata en español. Tienen que hacer lo que dice aquí, identifique y corrija. Los tres errores. Sí, so sorry. Ok, no es contestar, es identificar y corregir los errores. Perdón. Vaya, teacher, pero nosotros ya habíamos corregido la número dos, que es por el perfil. Ajá. Y. Y cambiamos la oración y dimos la respuesta. Perfecto, perfecto. Vaya, entonces sigan con los otros dos errores que le faltan. Would you send in this invitation? Uh, in the number three. Guys, no sorry. Uh, excuse me, I commit a mistake and you have to correct the, you have to correct, sorry, the mistakes you find in the sentences. Voy a compartir la pantalla, por ejemplo. Ejemplo, acá está. You have to identify and correct the three mistakes in the request below. As by example, en la número dos hay un error, which is the mistake. ¿Cuál es el error yes. aquí en la número dos? Uh, the first word, you could exactly. is, is incorrect. Es could you. Exactly. Bye. Y lo mismo así en los otros dos errores. Ok. Uh, okay. Will you send this invitation to your assistant? Mm. Okay, so would you mind? Would you send it? Seria, would you mind send this invitation to your assistant? 
Sam. Pero no es would you mind send. Es would you mind sending. sending. Exacto. Sending. Exacto. Okay. Would you mind sending. Recuérdense que en este caso solo el could va con el verbo base y el would you es siempre ing. Would you mind sending. Ok. Ahorita lo anuncio. Questions? No. 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 Mm -mm. No. Jennifer, no clear something. <laughs> Se me nota. Yes. Es la tres que estamos corrigiendo. Would you sending? In, uh -huh. is, would you send? Yes, in the, in the station. No, porque would you send? Recuérdese que es con el could. En este caso, la expresión es would you mind sending? Si no sería, could you send? Pero es, would you mind sending? Ah, entonces, my... teacher, si no llevara el mind, ¿sí podría ser, would you send? Sí, pero entonces no sería would, sería could, porque el would generalmente could. no se usa así. El would es casi solo, solo con el like y para decir te encantaría o te gustaría. Would you like drink? Would you like to drink a coffee? Por ejemplo, te encantaría tomar un café. Dije que es el que se ocupa cuando usted invita a alguien. Por ejemplo, would you like? Te encantaría. Hmm? That's it. No saca, guys. Number yes, four. because we have to go for the attendance guide. <laughs> number four, number four. Attendance time. Okay, shot. Okay, remember that you have to be with your camera on also and say present at least. Angel, well, pero Angela ya había estado, sorry. Carlos Ademir Bolaños. No, no here. Daily set Asensio de Sarmiento. Jorge Elvir Miranda Ramos. Present. Margot Hernández Salinas, which here she's working on. María Emelina Gaeta de Salinas. Emelina, hello. You have the mic on, off, sorry. That's why I didn't hear you say, to say present, María Emelina. En el micrófono apagado. Wow. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present. Very good. Yancy Guadalupe Erazo García. Present teacher. Very good. Maritza Alcira Castellón Celaya. I'm here teacher. Very good. Carlos Ademir Bolaños Mendoza. No. No, it's not here. Did I have 21? Okay. Also, I remember. Okay, guys. Again, remember that you have to go again to the Divinity teacher. I have problems with the connection. Okay, don't worry, Emelina. So we have to go again to the groups and we have to work on exercise number Four, okay. In here, sorry, I correct. Y aquí sí tiene que proveer la respuesta correcta para eh, los, eh, okay, Because, for the statements, okay, that we have to be here. Let me show you 
Let me share my screen. I can do right now because always I'm here. That is English book. Okay. Not share my screen. No, that is not here. Okay. No exercise number four. Okay. Select the most appropriate answer for the request. If you finish, start to answer to your classmate. Hey, would you mind turning the lights on? Yes, I would, no problem, okay? So if you finish to answer, because I think so that you are gonna finish right now, continue asking between yourselves, okay? Preguntenselas entre ustedes. No importa, mire, ya lo hicimos 50 mil veces. How many times do you say, I am hungry? ¿Cuántas veces dice, tengo hambre? Many, many. That's why, okay? Okay. Here we go, Mario Kart. Here we go. What? Que me la diferencia entre would you y you could, porque yo estoy confundida. Would you, me te encantaría. No, no, no. A ver, would like es te encantaría. Would you mind es algo así como te importa o te importaría. Y could es podrías. Podrías. Que would like se usa cuando digo te encantarías. Porque por eso decía que no se usa solo el would sin el you mind. Would you mind es como te importaría. Would you mind, por ejemplo, voy a compartir, quiero ver, if I have here. Con el would se mantiene el verbo y con el could. No, con el could se mantiene el verbo y con el mind, si usted lo quiere, agrego ing. Y con el like, teacher, would you like? Es, ya, pero con el like tiene otras connotaciones depende a veces del verbo tengo que usar el ing o algunos verbos tienen que usar el infinitivo como would you like drinking o would you like to be por ejemplo por eso de que like es, in... esa es la diferencia de Silvana Pérese, Jennifer. Okay. I mean, eh, Silvana would you like es como Would you like to drink or would you like drinking? Pero los verbos tienen una regla cuando tengo ING y cuando tengo que poner el infinitivo. Ah. Okay. Hay una regla. Ese es con would you like. En el caso, Jennifer, would you mind? Sí agrega ING. ¿Mm? Por eso, eso siempre. Es sí, siempre. Okay. Pero en este contexto, ¿qué es mind, teacher? Mind en realidad es como te importa. Would you mind? Es una Ajá, sola te, expresión. Te importaría. Es algo así como te importaría. ¿Te importaría mover tu carro? Mm, uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. Would you mind? Ya. Yeah. Se nos perdió. No hay esta Carlos. Bien. ¿Quién se que Carlos, pensaba que Carlos ya se, había, se nos había, lo habíamos perdido, pero no. No, aquí está. Ah, entonces, ahí solo tienen que encerrar la respuesta correcta y en after you have to answer between yourself asking, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Tisha. Ok. El verbo en la ING form, you have to use, eh, no problem, but the teacher can help us. About what? About and the first one. First one. Uh, would you mind turning the lights on? That's it? No. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. and, uh, and... Generalmente, y eso lo vimos eh, más arriba en el manual, generalmente dijimos que aquí se espera eh, una respuesta así como no problem. La respuesta yes. es cierto. Sería así como, si usted lo pone muy gramaticalmente, es como yes, I would, pero generalmente... Y esto creo que déjenme ver. Voy a compartir, si me permiten, yo pantalla. Voy a tener la función de pantalla de otra persona. Ok, va. 
voy a compartir yo mi pantalla. Quiero ver, déjenme. Comparto yo mi pantalla. I'm going to share my screen. Y vemos al principio de la unidad. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, how to use shouldn't, shouldn't. No, no, no. Is how to use would you mind and something like that. Then I use capital. Oh, so sorry. This is, is there a. Uh, this is unit two, unit three. Ah, but, okay, man, would you. Y aquí decía todo esto. Y, que, <laughs> y decíamos que no esperamos respuestas tan acá, creo que es. Cuando ustedes ven, ¿va? ¿ah? Por ejemplo, ustedes ven, could you, no esperamos respuestas como yes, I could, o no, I couldn't, sino que right away, sure, no problem, eh, otro tipo de respuestas. That's why. Do you remember this? Okay. Yes. That's why, but well, then, volver a compartir su pantalla, and now you have a, a little light about how you have to give the answers. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. This report. You might getting ten copies of the of this report. Uh, one minute. Let it be. A uh, one minute. In a minute. In a minute. Mm -hmm. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Yeah. Excuse me. Could you turn down? Yes. Excuse me, could you turn down the, the, the volume a bit? Yes, I could. No. Remember, oh. déjenme compartirles mi pantalla. Okay, okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. Oh, so sorry. I'm here. Okay. Remember? I told you uh, when I told this topic that when you say could you and would you mind, you don't say yes, I could or no, I couldn't or yes, I would or no, no I couldn't. Problem. I have to say no. uh, answer like no problem. I mean, all, almost, 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 almost always you have to give answers like a positive answer. Like, hey, right away. Okay, no problem. Is this okay? Okay, that's it. No, you don't say uh, yes, I could. Or no, I couldn't. Now oh. you can share your now you can share your screen and you are gonna discover the uh, the mistake that you have done. Okay. Okay. Give me share one screen. Mm -hmm. This. Okay. So, which is ah. exactly you see? Yes, I could. It's, uh -huh. it's a could you okay. order something to eat, please? And after, in this case, is is asking is is answering with a an answer. Is pizza okay? Podrías ordenar algo para comer, por favor. Y en lugar de decir sí, sí puedo, digamos que, o sea, is, is pizza okay? Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it, guys. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I don't. In the class, in the in the class, the say Naum, Naum is the Jose. Okay, number five. Great suggestion about the following behavior. Take it easy. We don't go to that exercise. Take it easy. I say that you have to ask between yourself the questions. Okay. Tienen que preguntarse entre ustedes mismos las preguntas, dije. Por ejemplo, como hey, que Milcar le preguntara a Oscar. Oscar, would you mind turning the lights on? Would you okay? Would you mind turning the lights on? ¿Te importaría no encender las luces? No problem, no yes. No problem. I mean, yes, yes, of course. Yes, right away. I mean, that's it. It's excellent, Joan. That's, that's the way to... Practice this exercise, Amilcar. Esta es la forma de, de practicar este ejercicio. Ya vamos a ir al 5 y al 6 y se lo voy a explicar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Um. How many say A and how 
many say B. <laughs> yeah, there is. Would you order oh. some pines to eat, please? ¿Y por qué le ponen número? Number two, number three. ¿Por qué no solo se las preguntan? Hey, <laughs> would, you, hey. would you order to, something to eat, please? Y aquí Easy en for... esta, por ejemplo, pueden hasta cambiar las respuestas. Por ejemplo, would you mind turning the lights on? ¿Te importaría encender las luces? Sure. No tiene que ser solo no problem. Sure. Right away, por ejemplo. Eh, okay. Esa podría ser otra. O sea, sure. Uh, yes, of course. Cuando así como le dice, como que el jefe le diga, mire, se puede parar en un pie y usted, yes, of course. O sea, por supuesto, jefe. Yeah, you start to write down, I mean, stand up in a, in a fit, okay? That's why. Es, eso es, no tienen que estar vaya. La número uno, ¿cuál es? La número dos, no es lotería, I mean. This is just like make así como que más spontaneously, okay? Please, guys. Okay. Es para saber dónde estamos, teacher, pero thanks. You're welcome. Ok, but the... Turn on, turn on In... es encenderlas. Uh -huh. no, but we are, we are doing another example because... Excellent. An example. Ex turning uh -huh, on. Yes. Turning on. Yes. Excellent. And... No, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving then. Ok. <laughs> And, you know, teacher, I'm kidding. No, don't worry. That's okay if you are making new examples. No, we, are, okay. we are emphasizing according to the structure that, you know, it's very, a little confused, but you know that the girls that are working with me are very smart. Oh, guys. And I think so <laughs> that they are just girls. That's why you are saying that nah, because they are just girls. <laughs> <laughs> Just mm. Vanessa, Yancy, Daily, <laughs> and Nuria. <laughs> hey, teacher, but uh, I I was with with Daily in the in the last in the last group. Okay. No, they, I she, know that they are very she's, smart. She's I know almost all of them since the beginning. Like Yancy and Nuria, they have been my students. Uh, since the last course and Nuria is the survivor because she comes with me from the first <laughs> survivor oh, yeah. me siento bien, bien de película. <laughs> you are the, su the survivor okay <laughs> that's nice so what about Claribel <laughs> teacher tenemos una duda I I have... Have... Um, number five excellent Mm -hmm. Who could you come early? On the number five. Yes. Oh, come. Ah, but this one. Could, could you, you come? In? I know. Could you come? Yeah, could you come? Okay. Remember. Eso. Remember. Para Marita. ¿Y qué, y qué pasó? ¿Y por qué está? ¿Y cuál, what was the discussion? Remember oh. that in this topic, by, por Eso. ejemplo, aquí es. Aquí esta, would you mind sending this invitation to your assistant? Yeah. Could you come early tomorrow? Yeah. We need to receive okay. our visitors. Sí, es también. Esos son los tres oh, errores. Okay. Would you feel? Would you mind sending? And could you come? Yeah. That's it. Okay. But practice okay. all the, practice the yeah. questions, okay? Practice yes, the questions, yes. girls and guys. Marita, eso es para usted. Natural. Which, which one? Which one? What are you discussing about? The number five. Number five in which exercise? Exercise number three. four. Exercise three. number three. Uh huh. Could you? I'll find to the mistake. Uh huh. Uh, when uh, say. Say me Carlos Naum. Uh -huh. Carlos. Say me when to use cool. You, you the base, the base, the single. You have to base use the base verb. verb. Is, yes, yes. Uh -huh. the base verb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that mistake coming? Uh, the correct exactly. Come. Exactly. Okay. I don't forget, I, I don't forget. I don't forget. No recordaba eso, I don't forget. Ah, okay, but no recuerdo es I don't forget. No recordaba es I didn't okay. forget. 
because it's I past. Did. I didn't forget. Y lo olvidé es I forgot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Continues making the question between yourselves. Pregúntensela entre ustedes. Because in that way it works, okay? Okay, Oscar. Era espontánea, podría ser una probable respuesta in in a minute también, ¿verdad? Maybe in a minute, right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right away in a minute, sure, no problem. Yes, of course. They, those could be the answer. Okay? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm always excuse appearing. me, could you turn? Mm -hmm. Turn down. T-shirt. Hi. Uh, we was, uh, we were confused with the answer. Why? Because uh, in the, in the uh, instruction, say, select the most appropriate answer for the uh -huh. request and um, uh, for me it's no I no problem in number four, in number four uh, could you request more Jumbo paper clip please eh, lo que pasa es que cuando usted digamos es algo así como que la más apropiada sería como lo hago ahorita por ejemplo, si usted pide, mire, pues, por ejemplo, puedes traerme un café, digamos. Usted, usted dice, yo lo puedo hacer. Sí, yo sé que lo puede hacer, perdóneme, o sea, pero lo que es diferente es que me dijera, mire, me puede traer un café. Y usted, yo le digo como jefe, mire, me puede traer un café. Y usted me contesta, ahorita, jefe, que es algo así como right away. Ya es diferente. Pero si usted dice, sí lo puedo hacer. Si yo fuera un jefe pesado, sí, sí sé que lo puede hacer, tráigamelo. O sea, por eso de que es diferente como que, no, mire, ahorita, o sea, that's why, ok. La más apropiada es como, ah, ahorita. Mire, podría solicitar más eh, clips grandes, por favor. Y usted le dice, sí, sí lo puedo hacer, algo así como que sí, sí lo puedo hacer. No, pero o sea, hágalo, I need you to do it right now. That's why. Okay. Okay. In the last, excuse me, would you turn down the volume a bit? Poquito. Poquito. Volume a bit. Puede bajarle un poquito al volumen. Yes, of course. A little bit. Yeah, yes, of course. Podría ser, ajá. Uh -huh. Esa podría, no, pero no, yes, I could. Yes, of no. course. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. O la B, es la más dicho. apropiada. Sorry. Solo una pregunta. O sea, que con eso, por ejemplo, esos eh, auxiliares como you, would you mind, y could you, no necesariamente tenemos que utilizar el auxiliar como la respuesta. Es que de hecho que no. Este, bueno, lástima que ya terminé el grupo. I mean, you were asking me, I mean, what, uh, what answer do I have to do when I use this kind of auxiliary? But you could go here when you see that when you use this kind of auxiliary, you don't have to use like, uh, could you print out the budget file? Uh, yes, I could. No, you say right away, just of course, in a minute, okay? In a moment, okay. That's that's the those are the answers that you have to give. No, uh, yes, I could. Would you mind? Yes, I would. No, that's it, Silvana. Thanks, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Thirty-eight. Okay. What do you have to do? Now let me go. What do you have to do? You are going to have like 20 minutes to classify 
this salutation and closing into formal or informal, okay? And after you have to, I mean, uh, create like a line, okay? Requesting uh, something and saying, using which, which one, uh, whatever of this, okay? Tiene que identificarlas, ponerlas en formales o informales y luego ponga algo así como este, te veo, si va a usar una formal, eh, please, I need the report, ok, regarding, por ejemplo, no vamos a usar todo lo demás, solo una línea de escribir un correo bastante formal. Si usted elige una informal, por ejemplo, usted vea, puede ponerle, eh, see you on Saturday, ok, y le pone shosho, si quiere, por ejemplo, que shosho es algo que usan los jóvenes, shosho dicen, I mean, that is something like, a, what is that? Algo así como besos y abrazos, ¿no? Yes. Besos yeah. y abrazos, something yeah. like that. I don't know. I mean. Yo en una película lo vi. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, they, they are calling acronyms. That is kind of como, y eso qué es? I mean. That's why you have to go there right now, guys. Okay, you go again to groups and you have to classify the uh, closing, okay? And try, oh my God, what I'm doing? <laughs> that is here. And after you can practice, I mean, si usted se aburre, practique las preguntas del ejercicio 3, del ejercicio 4, por favor. No esté así viéndose la cara en línea. Algunos ni han puesto la cámara, así es que solo están viendo el oscuro y el nombre. Si es que, por favor, ok, try to practice. O la foto, o the picture that you have. You can't contemplate the picture you have, ok? You have to go there. Claribel, where were you? ¿Dónde estaba? ¿En qué grupo estaba Claribel? Number three. Um, three. Ok. One, two, three. Sí. Amil, Karin, Janina, you have to go to your groups. But by example, um, hello, Mr. and Miss is formal. I think so. Yes. Dear yes, friends. Yes, to his formal. Yes, regards. Mm -hmm. Hello. As regards, formal or informal? It's formal. Okay, very good. Formal. Hello, Mr. 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 is formal. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, teacher is the, mm -hmm. I don't know, I know my mind is no, it's no process correct the question in the number five. Uh, please tell us again the explanation. With questions, explanation. The exercise number five. Ah, okay, just you have Six. to, I mean, no, but you are working on exercise number Six. Six right now. That's Six. why. Six. You have to classify the closing and endings informal or informal. Like uh, WhatsApp is formal or informal. Yeah. What's up? What's up, buddy? What this Jorge. Let me show you. This one, Jorge. This one, no? Classify oh. the salutation and closing into formal or informal. Sorry, my mind is the other side on the okay. other word. On the on the Bitcoin that you have won. No, 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 no. <laughs> no and the moon. Okay, I'm just kidding. And the moon. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> and the dark side on the moon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this uh, classification, this classification is correct. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I, I, I got a one in the push in the 
circle formal or informal. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. You say, hello, Mr. and Mrs. is formal or informal. You say that right now. It's, it's only this. Yeah, it's the only thing. If you get bored, you can start to ask the question of exercise number three and four. No, I bored. No, I, I tried the conversation with the okay. ladies. You, have, you try, <laughs> very good. And you have just ladies. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Only for the old people. Only all, all people say their friend. This is my dear friend. Oh, my friend. Uh, what's up? But the, the when they are friends, you say, friend. what's up, buddy? My channel. For me, dear friend is a formal way. With dear friend. Yes. Yeah. Dear friend is a formal way. Maybe dear, let me see something. Uh-huh. What exercise is it? What page is it? Page this? 38. Best regard. Okay. Best regard. Uh, okay. The point is when you say friend is not formal. Because imagine if you are writing, as by example, a formal or a business, it means that maybe it's not your friend. That's why dear friend is informal. Mm -hmm. Because dear is formal. But when you say their Mr. or Mrs., it's okay. Cuando usted mm -hmm. dice estimado señor Cañengues, por ejemplo, estimado señor Palacios. Pero si, ya, ejemplo, ¿ah? Pero si ya usted le dice, por ejemplo, a José, hey, My querido amigo, ajá. Querido amigo, ya, ya, no es, ya no es formal, ya es así como que va. Ya, que es dear friend, es como, ajá, my chero. The mixes. Yeah. My darling. What? Yes, gracias. My darling. Oh. My darling, and this is, eh, es, es hasta muy, muy, muy así, muy ameno. My darling es como que, ok, es bastante como... Cálido, por así decirlo, es demasiado amistoso. Algunos lo pueden ver así. Comentarles que en un grupo anterior, no lo comento aquí, pero en un grupo anterior alguien me dijo, mire, fíjese, no me diga darling, ¿por qué? Ok, a veces uno, sí va, pero sin ánimo de nada, pero sí me dijeron, mire, no me diga darling. Porque si ve darling es como cariño. Exacto, mm -hmm. es como cariño. Ah, por eso de que si ya usted le dice... Ajá. Ah, 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 even solo que usted esté cantando, ¿ok? When the light has gone. It is my... Eh, con el, solo con el novio, entonces. Ah, yes, solo maybe con... when, you, when you have a boyfriend. Regards, buenos saludos, o ah. ¿cómo sería? What? Don't try to translate. Es como saludos, pero no trate de traducirlo. Porque... No, no, de acuerdo, pero, pero eh, eso se dice al inicio o al final. Me parece más como una despedida. Es que es una despedida, pero aquí no es si es despedida o no, es si es formal o informal. De acuerdo, pero tenía que entender si era saludo. Ah, sorry. O final. No, pero es de, es, de, es de final, perdón, es de final. Es de final siempre. No, no lo usa al principio, Camilcar. Regards es solo al final. The better or the best intention. Sí, pero or no. Uh -huh, pero es que... Este... Mi mejor es deseos. Algo así. Sí, Como pero eso está, ya. De hecho, regard dice que es estima, aprecio, los mejores deseos o saludos. También Ajá, es atentamente. Bien. Exacto, es atentamente. Atentamente, sí. sí, se puede entender de muchas formas, pero siempre en un contexto bastante, ¿qué le diría? Formal. Conservador. Exacto. That's the top. That's the, that's the way. Okay. O sea, muy polite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so, and then, hello, Mr. and Mrs. And best regard, only the formal way yeah okay teacher uh, for the 
classify classi the, the classify the answer uh, see you informal yeah see you is informal hi is the informal <laughs> what's yes. up is what's up informal. is informal yeah hello mr and miss uh, formal yeah uh, their friends their friend informal exactly and the my best informal yeah, almost. hello miss and missus is okay no my best is formal <gasps> Uh, and morning is informal because morning you say like just when you are closer friends because the right expression is good morning okay okay when you say hey hello morning okay cuando hey cuando así como ah buenos días pero ya es como entonces como cuando nosotros decimos buenas en vez de algo así algo así okay thank you but the best, my best is the formal. Yeah, my best. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. In the morning is the informal. Yeah. Okay. Los saco las sesiones para explicarles el último ejercicio y nos vamos. Thanks. Okay, guys, I know that you have classified them uh, like formal and informal. I'm, I'm going to give you the answer, okay? The formal, they are just three. That just they are, hello, Mr. and Mrs., my best and best regards. Those are the formal. The other one are informal. Uh, somebody was asking me why morning is not formal because morning es como me dijo alguien es como cuando decimos nosotros hey buenas la expresión mm. correcta es por ejemplo decir good morning ok si es ya formal es good morning y no morning ok that's okay. why so now you have to go to page 30 vamos a la página 30 Les voy a mostrar I'm going to show you page 30 Okay, page 30, exercise number five. Okay, number six, be clearly. ¿Qué va a hacer? Create a list of 10 requests you normally make in the workplace. Haga una lista de 10 cosas que usted solicita comúnmente en el trabajo. Okay. Puede usar, pues, acá, ¿verdad? Usando este, would you mind or could you? Por ejemplo, cuando usted le dice, no sé, digamos, si tiene soporte técnico, could you, uh, could you revise or could you check my computer, por ejemplo? Eh, y si ya, pues, tiene, por ejemplo, a la conserje, digamos, le podría decir, would you mind bring, bringing me a coffee? Por ejemplo, ¿te importaría traerme un café? Cosas así, ¿ok? You got it? Okay. Yes, teacher. So, you go there, you are going to have like uh, 15, 15 minutes, but más o menos como 5, 15 minutos and no more, okay? Okay. You are there. Please speak in English, okay? Remember, forget your Spanish. Spanish, okay. Okay. Teacher. Hi. Firma se dice sign o signature. Firma es signature. Firmar signature. es sign. Please sign here. Por ejemplo, si usted le dice firme aquí, please sign here. Okay, por favor, firme aquí. Please sign here. Pero firma es signature. Okay. Give me a signature, please. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero no es give me a signature. Please 
eh, please stamp, podría ser por favor, eh, estampe su firma o please write down your signature. Uh, okay. Porque que, eh, el give me en, es, en inglés es como deme y no, te, no le puedo dar mi firma. Estampar entonces. Exacto, estampar o escribir. Ok, thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. ¿Verdad? Cada uno brinda lo que, lo que tiene y lo juntamos luego. ¿Me Al menos uno, dos por cada uno. Uno con could y uno con would you mind. Y creo que ahí le salen los diez. Son dos, okay. son cinco, son cinco y ahí tienen okay. you have ten. Okay. Thank you. In that, we use the, the, yeah. the would you mind and in the, the modal verbs that the teacher said mm -hmm. no we are okay. we are we are doing that sentences that you said okay uh, it, 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 i mean somebody can do just one with would you mind and one we could do and at least yep. you're gonna have like eight and after naum that he's a good leader he's a good helper he can do the other two <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah because we need 10 and as we have here and also he's the only gentleman here that's why <laughs> no. okay no okay. problem very good okay. i was here no sorry yeah was i here no no i wasn't you could do we do check this account for me could you yeah. check this account for me please yeah just the question mark is missing um, hey me too <laughs> In the problems here guys mm, no teacher it's clear good. smart guys i'm leaving Could you start the car? Yeah, puedes arrancar el carro. Yes. Amilcar tiene apagado el micrófono. I don't know if you're speaking. Okay. Good. Teacher, I try to 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 write the sentences or to ask to question uh, about the help me uh, help me the mar marcador or marcar en la mañana marcar what la entrada al trabajo uh i mean in this case is the the entrance i mean la entrada que no ajá marcar la entrada al trabajo ajá well, in, in my work, in my uh -huh. work, we know uh, for time timer. Aha, uh -huh, the timer, yeah. Timer is, ah, okay. timer is timer is the machine, yeah. Timer, timer is uh -huh. open. I mean, timers open. Maybe. Mm, the point is, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you need with the timer? Okay. Okay, let me check and let me see. Armando, could you start the car? It's okay. Uh, Joanna, could you check the emails in the morning? Yes. Alan, también una, would you mind? Okay. Could you give me the pen, please? Very good, Jose Palacios. Joanna, could you? Joanna, no, you could. Could you? Uh, Jose Palacios, would you mind setting my printer with the Wi Fi? Hey, very good. Uh, that sentence, very well. <laughs> You can share also in the chat if you want that I check the sentences, guys. Okay. Okay, Tisha. She went out. I was thinking, um, 
yeah that's why they are four and i think so that's four here yeah because she went out could you make the dinner please yeah emelina yeah. solo que eso piden el trabajo vaya pues <laughs> Related to work. Eso es lo que le dice a su esposa. Por favor, no revele esas cosas. It's about work, Emelina. Okay. Would you mind helping me? Uh -huh. Helping me, maybe helping me to erase. To erase. To erase, Jennifer. Would you mind helping me to erase? Okay. Y de falta el question mark. Silvana, could you give me the list of clients? Yeah. Recuérdense, por lo menos una con could you y otra con would you mind, ¿ok? Y la, y la anterior está bien escrita, Tisha. ¿Cuál anterior, Silvana? Could you give me the list of, of clients? No, would you mind restating my computer? Ah. No sé por qué no yes. la veo. La que escribió quizás antes y no estaba yo en el chat. Reenvíela porque no me aparece. Ah, ok, aquí. Could you mind making a general report? Ajá, ¿te importaría hacer un reporte general? Sí, solo que making es con A y no es could, es would. Es would you mind. No es could you mind. Would you mind? Okay. <clears throat> ah, a ver, Silvana, would you mind restarting my computer? No, está bien, está muy bien. Eh, Silvana, okay. ¿te importaría reiniciar mi computadora? Restarting my computer, yeah. Okay. okay, Jennifer, could you give me your notebook to check it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Castro, I haven't seen your sentences. Come on. I'm leaving. You can share by the chat the sentences, guys and girls. We are doing this, teacher. Okay. Uh, Nuria, could you get a coffee, please? Podrías, could you get, le falta el question mark, pero es, podrías, ajá, could you get me, en este caso es algo así oh, como, oh, get me, yeah. exacto, could you get sí, me, sí, sí, podrías sí. traerme un café, sorry, no, no, que me estoy durmiendo, perdón, oh my god, pero, I'm so sorry, sí, lo que pasa es que, sí, así la he escrito, pero se me ah, fue okay. aquí, eh, I think so that it was the number one, yeah, I shall always be early teacher, ok, <laughs> would you mind cleaning my desk? Yes, no. Would you mind cleaning my desk? Yeah. ¿Te importaría limpiar mi escritorio? Very good. Uh -huh. Jan, sí, en Vanessa. Okay. Could you come? Vanessa, could you mind doing doing your work or my work? Please, Vanessa, y le falta el question uh, mark. Yes, could you mind doing my work? ¿Te importaría hacer mi trabajo o te importaría hacer tu trabajo? Solo que Vanessa es would, no could. Yes, teacher, sorry. Don't worry. Could you call to my boss? Puedes llamar a mi jefe? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Could you... Y esta puede ser así. Which Could one? You... Could you buy one book? Yes. Question okay. mark. Question mark. Okay. Would you mind repairing my laptop? Yes. Would you? 
my laptop. What time is it? I mean, it's almost time to go, but it's not time to go. Okay, and discussion this moment is the uh, using the could you tell me at what hours is the meeting? Or ah. could you tell me at what time is the meeting? Yeah, what, could you what tell me the, what time? Uh -huh. what could you order? tell me at what time uh -huh. is the meeting? Yeah. Podría decirme a la reunión? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, number uh, time is, is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, time, yeah. And what time is que hora? Lo que pasa es que casi no se usa, pero what time es la expresión. Por ejemplo, si usted pregunta qué hora es, la, la pregunta correcta es what, what time, time is it. Exacto. Uh -huh. No dice what, what, what hour is it. ¿Qué hora es? No uh -huh. dice qué hora es. I mean, the right expression is what time is it. Uh -huh. Would you mind turning down the air conditioner? Yeah. ¿Por qué piden eso todas las mujeres cuando están en la oficina? Está demasiado frío. Solo que es air conditioner. Air conditioner. Conditioner. La noche más condition. Conditioner, I think so that is conditioner. Aire acondicionado, air conditioner. Y acondicionador, how do you say? I think so that is the same. Pero solo Así que es conditioner. A condition, a condition. No, conditioner. Okay. No, a conditioner. Yes, conditioner. conditioner. We have to go out. So sorry, we have to go out. Okay. okay. Time's up. I have to go with the list. Okay. And another one, ladies. Uh, could you mind checking the... We are going to wait for your classmates. And at the end, we are going to go with the attendance list. Oh my God, time's almost time. Time. I need time to win back your love again. That one. Or what was the other? Ah, when the night has gone. gone. <laughs> and the, and the, and the, and the, and the land is dark. And the moonlight is the only light we see. That's it. That's it, the song. It's a good song. Yeah. And it's it. Teacher, so don't I, I, understand. Sorry, Carlos. Teacher, I, I remember Timon y Pumba. <laughs> yeah, but that is a cool number. What yeah. is the Timoy? What is Pumba? <laughs> no, no, it's the Pumba. My God, the excellent. <laughs> no, no yeah. it's it, the they, excellent. They sang that song. Program. I remember. Yeah, they sang. They sang that song. When you say <laughs> yes. the line, when you say a stand, stand, stand. Yeah. Okay, Mister Aceituno. <laughs> Qué bárbaro, Jorge. Excuse me, but to interrupt Don't the worry. important topic. <laughs> yes, that's an important topic. Music is going to be always but an important I have, topic. I have a question, teacher. Just let me go with the attendance and after I will answer your question, okay? Okay. I don't I don't very I don't know very well when when to use wood or wood or or cool. Could, example, Jennifer is, is, is going to explain you. No, I mean, could, no, okay. para traducirse en el español es así, para traducirse en el español es así, el could se usa con la forma base del verbo y es podrías. Correcto. Y el would you mind se usa con el ing y es como te importaría. Esa te es la gustaría. Diferencia. No, te importaría. Te gustaría es would you like. Mine es el verbo okay, como. Okay. Mine es el verbo como importar, dependiendo. Por ejemplo, si una respuesta en inglés, cuando a ti no te, no te parece algo, es I don't mind. No me importa. I don't mind. O it doesn't matter. 
O sea, es I don't mind, es como decir, no, no me interesa. ¿Ok? Entonces, en este caso, would you mind, es como, ¿te importaría abrir la ventana? Would you mind open the window? ¿Ok? Sorry, opening the window. Would you mind opening the window? E, como dije, would you mind lleva el ING. That's the difference. Okay, that's different. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cam, Mr. Amil Caraceituno. Present. Angela Ostorga. Present. Very good. Carlos Bolaños. Carlos Melgar. Present, teacher. Daily Asensio. Anira Arevalo. Present, teacher. Noemí Mata. Present. Elvir Miranda. Hello, hello. May I hear? Naum Palacios. Present, teacher. Margot Hernández. Melina Iraeta. Present, teacher. Naum Asensio. Present, teacher. Nuria Vargas. Present, teacher. Oscar Esquivel. Present, teacher. Joana Alvarado. Present, teacher. Silvana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Odette Guardado. Present, teacher. Nancy Erazo. Ya, yeah. Yancierazo. Present teacher. <laughs> what were you thinking about, Yancy? Claribel Rosales. Uh, <laughs> present teacher. Escuché ruidos. Por eso es que okay. no mm, me quedé. Ah, ok. Thank you, Claribel. Thank you, teacher. Alcira Castellón. I hear teacher. Hugo Alexander Castro. Present teacher. Okay, guys, almost we have finished unit number three of, of this, I mean, of this module. Remember, please, you have to complete until exercise number 15. Let me see if I can show you cards and I will show you again, please. This is section three. I mean, let me show you. Because if not, tomorrow at maybe six or six and a half, you are going to have my message, okay? And I, I, I try to do, I mean, I, I try to do good things. That's why you are going to have my message around six or 6.30. That's why before, I mean, before you go to sleep today, please do your exercise. If you want to rip, okay? Pero no rip the other rip, sino rip the rest in peace, pero no rest in peace as the people says when you are like, a, okay? When you have you when you don't have life, no, rest in peace because you are gonna sleep very well, freely, without any any bad thinking about the teacher is gonna be writing to you tomorrow. I, I remember you talked to you this, this topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember that you have to finish this, okay, these exercises, okay, let me see, okay, remember that the exercise is here, task 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, we have to finish until here, okay, look like there are some pictures of you, Nice pictures of you, okay? And, and this class, I was I was wearing the same t-shirt. Oh my God, what this I did. Guy, this guy in the blue shirt, blue shirt is very, very, very... Very handsome. Handsome. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yes, this girl is kind of sleeping, okay? What are, this guy you thinking? This guy is over me. What about everybody, okay? So... That's it, guys. This has been the class. Okay, remember to your exercise, study your uh, manual, and after 
if you have done that, you can go and sleep freely, okay? You can rest in peace, okay? But not rest in peace as I told you before. You can rest in peace like, a, like an angel, okay? Like a baby. That's why, okay? See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. At the same time, be punctual. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for feeling me, for being with me. Bye. Joanna. <laughs> How are you today, Joanna? Um, very good. You look like good. You are not sleeping. As always, I'm like, <laughs> I, want to go to you. I mean, you look like a little bit fresh. I mean, maybe you have been working, but they had not, it is not, it, it, it has not, I mean, there is, there, I mean, there hasn't a bad day. It has been maybe a good day. No, 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 no. Que no ha sido un tan mal día, quizás ha sido un día regular, porque no veo esos días que la veo cansada, así que, teacher, me estoy durmiendo. <laughs> That's Yo why. Yo no he dormido en clases, teacher, lo siento. <laughs> no, I know. Sé, lo mm -hmm. sé, Joana. I mean, sé que también en sus comentarios está que, aunque no le gusta hablar, la he visto que sí conoce, ya, o sea, está aprendiendo mucho, es bien callada sí. para participar en inglés, pero sí la he visto que ha aprendido bastante y que... Cuando toca hablar, sí. habla. Sí, sí, la verdad que sí. Por ejemplo, he aprendido, oye, sé que fue un poquito más, entiendo un poquito más de lo que sabía, lo básico que le enseña a uno en, en el bachillerato. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Uh -huh. What about your boss? What did, what, what your boss, ¿qué piensa su jefe? Ah, no, él, él, este, como nosotros trabajamos, eh, la iglesia trabaja con misioneros y todo eso, me dice que sí es importante que aprenda el inglés porque en algún momento nos visita un, una persona pues que no puede hablar español, pues sí. qué bien que hay alguien que pueda traducir. Y cuando son predicadores, pues está el, el traductor. Sí, uh -huh. I know, I know that it's very hard. Pero it's important for you at least to say, okay, hey, would you like to drink a coffee? Por lo menos le gustaría un café. Ya siquiera eso ya lo sabe decir. Ah, ya. Yeah. <laughs> o sea, a mí le gustaría un café. Maybe you get a gringo's boyfriend. <laughs> Take it easy, Joanna. You look like, I mean, you look, you look like Rory, okay? Así como con un poco sonrojada. <laughs> sí. Okay, tell me, do you have any question about the topics, Joanna? O quizás de este tema, ¿no? Pero es que, ay. So, no. no Dígame alguno que, que le ha costado y podemos revivirlo, if we can. Creo que quizás la duda que tenía, que tenía ese señor um, Cañengue, creo que es el apellido. El uso del cool y el... el would you mind? Would you mind? It could. Could es podrías y se usa con la forma base del verbo. Por ejemplo, vamos a poner, eh, va, vamos a poner la misma expresión. Podrías abrir las ventanas. Uh -huh. Could you open the windows? Podrías abrir las ventanas. Ese es el could y el would se usa con toda la expresión. Would you mind? Y se agrega ing. Would you mind opening the window? ¿Te importaría abrir la ventana? Y el que hemos estado viendo, pues, el show. show ah, me... ese es el deberías. Cuando usted da sugerencias. Usted, por ejemplo, uh -huh. debería estudiar más inglés. You should study more English. Por ejemplo, en su trabajo, eh, usted, como usted dice, usted debería ser puntual. You should be punctual. ¿Ok? Eh, digamos, eh, tiene que usar ropa formal. You should wear formal clothes. El should y el shouldn't es para dar recomendaciones de qué deberías y qué no deberías hacer. 
el would you mind y el could son para pedir cosas de manera amable. Como, mire, este, me podría ayudar haciendo estos reportes. Could you make these reports? Podría hacer estos reportes. Yo como pastor le digo, Joana, could you make these reports? ¿Podría hacerme estos reportes? Yes, y a usted me dice, yes, of course, oh, I mean, yes, of course, in a minute, right away. Pero también se lo podría decir de la otra forma. Would you mind making these reports? ¿Le importaría ser realmente para pedir? Son lo mismo. O sea, no uh -huh. tiene diferencia. Pero gramaticalmente tengo que saber que al, al mind, would you, al would mind, le tengo que poder leer el ing al verbo. Y con el could, ¿no? Pero realmente son bastante parecidos, o sea, eh, solo para que lo conozcan gramaticalmente, que, para que no solo sea siempre could, 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 sino que would you mind, por ejemplo. Mm. That's the y, point. Por ejemplo, teacher, el you, el you show, show, show. Ajá, you should. Pero, por ejemplo, solo se utiliza con you o I. No, con Are. cualquiera. No, no, pero es que ahí está poniendo los verbos to be. No, se pone con cualquier pronombre. Por ejemplo, usted, yo, él, ella. Póngale que el pastor, por ejemplo. Él, he should preach more. Él debería predicar más. He should preach more. Él debería predicar más. Ejemplo, mm. Por ejemplo, o... Hablando de ella, digamos que es la esposa de, del pastor. She could come to the church. Ella debería venir a la iglesia. O sea, se puede usar con cualquier pronombre. El uh, would you mind, eh, esa es la diferencia. Eh, no tiene diferencia, pero lo mismo puede usar. Eh, general, lo que pasa es que generalmente cuando hago un pedido, se lo hago directamente a alguien. Esa es la diferencia. ¿Ah? En el would you mind, por eso es would you mind, importaría a ti. Con el could puedo cambiar los pronombres. ¿Podría él traerme un café? Could he bring me a cup? ¿Ah? O podría ella, could she? Pero con el uh -huh. would you mind generalmente es bien directo, como would you mind, te lo digo a ti directamente. ¿A ti te importaría hacerme esto, hacerme esto otro? Ah, ándale. Ah, pues sí, yo tenía esa duda de que si solo con you uh -huh. se podía utilizar. No. No. Uh -huh. Eso me está. You have like two or three minutes you have to spend. Me Tiene falta. como dos o tres minutos todavía. Creo que quizás lo que más me dificulta en poder hablar el inglés es que todavía, um, por ejemplo, en una conversación normal, que me, uh -huh. en lo que yo me quedaría de, hello, how are you? Ajá, uh -huh, fine. Y de ahí, entonces creo que uno se queda pregunta, pensando... Depende, pero por ejemplo, lo que estábamos viendo ayer, la etiqueta, podría preguntar como, por ejemplo, este, si es... Si usted cree que en un misionero puede haber la confianza, como por ejemplo, ¿dónde vives? Para que le diga el Estado, ¿where do you live? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. esa podría ser eh, una, una, eh, una pregunta de conversación. Podría ser también si tiene la iglesia, ¿what is the name of your church? O ¿what is the name of the church? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la iglesia? O esa podría ser, por ejemplo, ¿ah? Otra podría ser, where do you come from? ¿De dónde viene? Si es misionero, puede ser que venga de Estados Unidos, de Arabia, Afganistán, qué sé yo, whatever country, I mean. Where do you come from? ¿De dónde vienes? Ok, que eso es, o sea, del lugar de donde está misionando, por ejemplo, porque es diferente decir dónde vives a quizás de dónde vienes si es misionero. ¿Ah? Uh -huh. Eso podría ser eh, para, por ejemplo, abrir la conversación. Porque las demás a veces son preguntas muy personales, como perdón, si está casado, tiene hijos, o sea, esas preguntas. O sea, sí se pueden hacer, pero usted aquí valora el grado de confianza, porque posiblemente hay alguien que si usted le pregunta está casado, 
es bien delicado, pues son cosas como muy personales, ¿no? Entonces, este, eso podría ser. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más le preguntaría si usted en español, no olvides el inglés, ¿qué más le preguntaría a alguien? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel here? Do you like this country? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo te sientes aquí? ¿Te gusta este país? Do you like this country? Uh, ¿Has probado las pupusas? Have you ever tried pupusas? Uh -huh. Would you like to eat pupusas? Imagínese que busca ahí por Cojutepe, que would you like to eat pupusas? ¿Te gustaría comer pupusas? Ok. Would you like to go to the mountain, por ejemplo, en Cojutepe, que would you like Chinese food? Would you like to eat Chinese food? Ok. That the, the things, ok. Okay. Uh -huh. One minute. Ya son las 10 y 12. Lo que pasa es que a veces se corta. Generalmente le doy a veces 11, 12 porque tienen que ser 2, 10 y a veces más de algún minuto no roba la grabación y si no queda corto. Y lo que va a pasar es que nos van a hacer dar la clase otra vez. Mm. Habrá que repetir la clase. Entonces por eso siempre lo llevo hasta 2, 12. Depende 2, 15 en medida de que no vayan a hacernos repetir la clase, porque no, si no, uh -huh. no la valida y le van a decir, vaya, mire, me van a decir a mí, fíjate que la clase esta está, no alcanzó, digamos, los dos diez. Entonces, uh, yeah. tiene que repetirla con todos los estudiantes y creo que ni ustedes ni yo van a querer otra noche, o sea, porque ya después de las veinte noches de aquí, queremos un descanso y luego vamos a las otras. Pero uh -huh. poner una noche extra sobre el curso, I mean, that's why I do. Este, mi teacher estaba viendo lo de, la, lo de la plataforma. Las preguntas que usted dijo a mí no me aparecen en la ¿Cómo plataforma. No? Sí, ahorita se las muestro. ¿Cómo no? Lo que pasa es que hay que saber dónde. Pero ahorita se las muestro y con eso terminamos que ahorita Ajá. me he puesto las de ayer. Vamos a la 14, ¿verdad? Sí, pero creo que en la 11, por ejemplo. Aquí creo que en la 11. Aquí están, mire. Debajo de la clase, veo tu chuchu, aquí están, ¿ves? Vale, aquí hay cuatro comentarios, mire, por ejemplo, sus compañeros, ya Nahum Asensio, Jorge Elvir Miranda, Maritza Alcira Castellón, ya agregaron respuestas. Ajá. Entonces, ahí está. ¿Ok? A partir de la 11. La 11, pero ya voy a poner la 12, la 13, la, ya, no, está la 11 y la 12, voy a poner la 13, la 14 y la 15, que no las había puesto. Ah, vaya, pues sí, la voy a buscar porque esa no me había salido. Ok. Now I think so that if you want to go to your bed, you can go right now. <laughs> ok. See you tomorrow, Joana. You have a good record. I know that you do a good effort, pero tiene una buena asistencia. Sé que a veces está así como, teacher, I'm sleeping. Pero sé que ha sido muy puntual y sé que ha sido muy cumplida con su horario. De hecho, creo que en este curso no ha faltado, ¿verdad? Solo una vez que, que, que sí venía tarde. Ah, una sí, hora casi. Me, dijo que me llamaron. Sí, no, es que siempre sí. le van a llamar. Eso siempre lo van a me hacer. Me llamaron, pero le expliqué yo a la muchacha por qué y me dijo ella que cuando tuviera algún problema así, que le llamara ahí y que lo notificara. Sí, no, es que a mí, de hecho a mí no me dan permiso de darles permiso. Yo siempre... Creo que se han dado cuenta que si faltan, siempre les escribo que estamos pendientes uh -huh. ahí, pero ellos también, ese es trabajo de ellos. Sí, es cierto. Ya. Yeah. Ok, Joana, then bye. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Hasta mañana, pasen buenas noches. Ok. Good night. Good night. Oh my God. What I'm doing. <laughs>